Everton's prospective new owners, the Freakin Group, have begun their search for big hitters to join their Goodison Park revolution. That is according to reports today, which stated that a comprehensive audit of the club is underway. Uh, Everton, uh, well, the Freakin Group rather, are uh, thought to be enrolling Rotexo. Uh, they used them before when they went into Roma. They are a data and analytics company um, that help ownership groups find um, their perfect staff and sporting directors, which might be a slight worry to Kevin Thelwell. Uh, also, they uh, put their emphasis on searching out underrated coaches as well as having extensive data for players, um, younger players, and obviously following their career paths as well, putting in strategic technical staff to help the football club grow. Uh, there is thought to be lots of um, appointments externally to be made at Everton under the Free King Group. That is what the report goes on to say today. I think it, it's interesting. It's good. It's good news that Everton are, or the Free King Group rather, are looking to bring in experts from outside the club to try and fill areas where the gaps are to try to take Everton in a different path. Quite clearly, we've been going back backwards in the last few years, certainly from a playing staff perspective. But there's been a lack of investment in things like the academy and other areas, player recruitment uh, areas of the club as well. And getting experts in there will massively help shape Everton's future. Obviously, we need to do things in a different manner. Real changes have, see, have a, ex, you know, been an example of this. We can't just spend money anymore. You have to make sure you're identifying the right players and, and having an ethos that brings in younger players from all over the world and not just be laser-focused on Premier League experience, to name but a few. So interesting times ahead as the freaking group uh, move towards completing their takeover of Everton Football Club. Uh, athletic journalist Matt Slater has exclusively told Toffee TV that a Premier League rule change could benefit Everton's stadium naming rights deal. Obviously, the Premier League and Manchester City involved in a little bit of a back and forth at the moment um, that has seen different outcomes. Uh, but this is what Matt Slater had to say. Yeah. Then, yeah. then are they are they free to just get on with that? Well, look, at the moment, Man City say we're in limbo, right? Well, are there any rules? So mm. let's just say if it happened right now, that so a, a good lawyer could say, let's do the deal really fast, right? Mm. I, I think that's not really what's going on. I think we are like in a sort of bit of a gray area that is going to be resolved fairly soon one way or another. I think one definite good bit it, that, that's going to come from this Man City case is we're going to roll back a little bit. I, again, I don't want to add too much complexity here. The Premier League tightened the associated party rules again in February of this year to basically kind of like narrow the band, you know, but club X, i.e. Man City would go, uh, yes, he had want to give us a hundred million and the Premier League would go, well, all right, we're going to get an independent expert. And they've done a range. And they said, if, you, if, it, if it was done normally, it wasn't an associated party, you know, a club of your size selling shirt and stadium, you know, it, it would be between 60 and 70. So we'll let you have 70. What they tried to do in February was sort of almost narrow that a bit. And so there's a gap between what Man City wanted and what the Premier League were willing to give. I think we're going to have to go back a little bit and we're going to make that range a bit wider, which would help a Friedkin, for example, mm -hmm. coming in and saying, oh, um, I've got a good relationship with Toyota. They want to go front of shirt. They want to go Bramley Moore. Um I reckon we can get 60, 70 for that, 70 million. The Premier League's saying, no, no, I'm not so sure about that. It's 50. All right, maybe we'll give you 60. I mean, look, that, that, it's not quite haggling. It is based mm. on arm's length and fair market. You can catch that full inter exclusive interview, I should add, uh, on Premier Tonight, Offy TV Premier Tonight, and it will be out available on YouTube tomorrow. That's an exclusive interview with uh, Matt Slater, the athletics journalist, talking all things Everton. Uh, Everton have today been linked with a potential move for Santos right-back João Pedro Chimont. He's 18 years of age, Brazilian. Uh, Santos are open to offers. He does have a £58 million release clause in his contract. However, the reports coming out of Brazil is that Santos are looking for around 8 to £10 million for the very, very highly rated right-back. 
Uh, and finally, the Premier League have released their live VAR audio uh, from Everton's game against Newcastle on Saturday. The penalty decision that was denied against Dominic Calvert-Lewin. Uh, Craig Porson quickly said immediately, not for me, not for me, even though there was it appeared his view was blocked. He said there's a challenge between the two of them. VAR, Chris Cavana, that man, said um, Bain gets his foot on the front in front of Calvert Loon and he kicks him. It's not a penalty. Uh, that audio is available. Again, I disp- I do dispute it. I know different people have different opinions on this. I just think that Dominic Calvert Lewin should have the advantage as a striker who is reacting to a ball that the goalkeeper saved. Dan Byrne is behind Calvert-Lewin at this point, coming across the back of him. As the ball breaks, Calvert-Lewin's trying to sweep it in and catches Dan Byrne, who is never, ever in control of the ball, Byrne. He doesn't even get a touch on the ball. That's why, for me, it was a penalty. They think differently. Other people think differently. That's fine. But it is one of those where it has split um, a lot of people's opinions. But hey-ho. There you go. That is it for the news daily. Make sure you give the video a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't. Thanks for watching. See you later.